welcome. You are watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. From the 1st through the 5th of February, Ukrainian Fashion Week collections will be presented in Kiev. There will be 50 designers, 39 shows, 10 presentations, 4 special projects and public talks. It is the place where the most influential players of the fashion industry of Ukraine meet and continue to develop fruitful cooperation with the international community. To talk more about the evolution of the Ukrainian fashion, we are joined in the studio today by Olga Dvaryanskaya. She's a designer. Hello and thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for invitation. Hello for everybody. As I already just mentioned, uh, Ukrainian Fashion Week is soon to come. What are your personal expectations from Ukrainian Fashion Week 2019? Uh, yeah, we are waiting a very interesting um, event and uh, we hope it uh, will be a new, talented mm -hmm. uh, names and uh, interesting ideas. Uh, of course, I want to see uh, everybody and go to fashion show. Mm -hmm. Whose fashion show, uh, the fashion show of which designer are you expecting the most? Are you most eager to see? Uh, the most uh, of, uh, fashion designer and who open the fashion mm -hmm. show is Lilia Pustovit. Mm -hmm. And I uh, think everybody wants to see uh, what's interesting in you. Uh, she's, um, um, she, she wants to show for us. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course, we know uh, Baginski, Lake, uh, okay. uh, Yankee Yankee, and and other designers who really sold abroad, and it's interesting to um, see how uh, they make successful uh, way mm -hmm. uh, to European market. Um, when did you realize, you personally, that your mission is fashion? I, I was close uh, to fashion uh, all my life. Mm -hmm. I graduated the University of Light Industry in Kiev, mm. af and after I worked in a uh, fashion magazine like a stylist, and after I worked in uh, advertising agency, mm -hmm. and we uh, uh, organized a lot of fashion uh, show and um, presentations for Ukrainian brands. Uh, but um, I uh, thought that it's very difficult to be a fashion designer and you need a lot of investments uh, to, to your ideas. And did it turn out to be true? Uh, yes, it's true, of course. Okay. But uh, I don't like uh, sewing. But I like uh, to draw and uh, create. And, and one time I decided to do my first collection. It was. Uh, three years ago, and I uh, make um, silk in, scarves. In 2015, you created a collection yeah. of silk scarves. Now, why scarves? Uh, because uh, I'm um, I'm painter, mm -hmm. and I uh, want to find I I, I found the, a new interesting um, ideas how to to improve my uh, creative. Um, Look. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to do um, a silk um, silk artworks mm -hmm. for decorating, but uh, my friends and my first clients um, saw my first collection, and um, uh, after that I um, I believe in myself, and uh, I start to do. Uh, real serious business, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I want to be long uh, in this part. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing your own design right yeah. now? Is this a part of your new collection? Yes, this is our new collection, and when I started, um, I make only scarves and shawls uh, uh, from silk and velvet, uh, but uh, now uh, we make uh, beachwear and uh, elegant blouses and mm -hmm. uh, a dress, uh, like you can mm -hmm. see on mm -hmm. the, I wearing on one of them. Have you already introduced your designs, your pieces of clothing abroad, outside of Ukraine? Not yet, but I really want to sell abroad and uh, have a great fashion show. Uh, but it's uh, really difficult because I depend by, uh, uh, of uh, raw materials mm -hmm. from f foreign raw materials, and uh, also I depend by um, um, orders of mm -hmm. buyers. And uh, it's difficult to com uh, to co compare about the cost of mm -hmm. uh, production. 
in general, uh, how popular would you say are Ukrainian designers outside of Ukraine? Um, and now it's an interesting situation because Ukraine is now an interesting country uh, and uh, the world uh, um, uh, talking about us uh, because of uh, political situation. Mm -hmm. This is a reason um, uh, that it's interesting to go abroad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, but we have another uh, situation about uh, cost. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, difficult to um, uh, make cheaper our product and be competitive. Mm -hmm. Every year, Ukrainian Fashion Week expands its cooperation with international brands, with international designers. Um, obviously, this year is not going to be an exception. Which fashion star should we expect to see during this year's Fashion Week? To be honest, I don't know who mm -hmm. can go to our Fashion Week. And uh, what about my way? Mm -hmm. I think maybe I can be interesting, like a designer of prints mm -hmm. for somebody mm -hmm. abroad. And uh, sometimes I have offer to collaboration with mm -hmm. one of mm -hmm. uh, brand. For me, it's an uh, interesting way how to go uh, abroad. <laughs> what would you say is um, the most catchy? Uh, trend in Ukrainian fashion these days, if there is one. <laughs> uh -huh. Ukraine uh, is in, uh, new uh, on the fashion uh, area in the world, and I think our uh, designers try don't don't repeat uh, trends mm -hmm. and try to make uh, trends. Uh, we try to make a uh, good reputation about uh, Ukraine mm -hmm. and um, we try to make uh, good quality, uh, new researches in design and uh, improvement, something like uh, it's very modern uh, popular about environment. Mm -hmm. Eco-friendly? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, for the last question, who is your personal role model in, out of all the international fashion industry? who is the one you're looking up to as a designer? Mm, some weeks ago it was uh, f fashion uh, in uh, uh, fashion week in uh, Paris mm -hmm. uh, and for me it was surprised about uh, uh, Iris van Herpen. It was imagine and I, I uh, saw this collection like uh, a voice from future. Mm -hmm. So it's a futuristic designer, yeah. you would say. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was Olga Dvoryanska. She's a designer. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned with UATV for the rest.